little feetsies. Hi there, little feetsies. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Yana. I hope you guys don't mind that this month's plan with me video is just a voiceover because I am having huge breakouts on my face. Like, there's usually five mountains on my face. And yeah, <laughs> I feel super insecure about it. So, we are just gonna do voiceover for this month. Really hope you guys don't mind. Anyways, this month's bullet journal plan with me video is super awesome and super fun. So, let's just get straight to it. For September, it was really hard to come up with a theme and because I was so stuck, <laughs> I decided to ask around. I asked actually a few times but there weren't much suggestions and when there were suggestions, there wasn't many people voting or rather there was no, no one <laughs> that voted for any of it. So I decided to uh, go ahead and did a short live session on my Instagram and then Sneha, a follower of mine, she was such a sweetheart and she helped me like we were discussing during the live about what theme I should work on and she suggested that I worked on the retro style, the retro theme but uh, it revolves around the Memphis art style and I did your Pinterest it up while I was on the live stream and I just, I didn't even know that it was called the Memphis art style. Uh, but, fun fact that I actually really like this, this style in particular because it's so free and it's just so fun to look at. It's always very refreshing to look at it. And now that I know it's called Memphis art style, I am thankful to Sneha. <laughs> so yeah, so basically I decided to go with... Um, the whole uh, Memphis art style but I also incorporated the scrapbooking style as well into this theme and it's honestly damn simple to get this done it's super easy it's super fun and it's definitely a no-brainer like all you have to do is pick out a few colors uh, colored papers that you like and just rip them all apart like just be as savage as you want, <laughs> have fun with it. And here I chose the four main colors which is the red, the yellow, the blue and the black. Because what's life without a little dose of black, right? <laughs> so basically what you have to do is, like I mentioned earlier, you just have to rip out the papers in whatever shape and form, stick them down to your book and literally just scribble, like just doodle on it. And it's so fun because like let's say if you like um, leaves, you draw leaves like how I did or if you just like patterns, lines or any sort of object, even books, it's totally up to you. Like just go wild, literally. <laughs> For the font, I honestly didn't know what kind of font to use so I just <laughs> wrote in my normal handwriting which is usually what I consider as the ugly handwriting but after I decided to like thicken the left side of each of the letters it looks super cool like I don't know whether you guys agree with me or not but I felt like that font style that uh, upgraded ugly font style of mine actually really suit this theme and then pretty much for the cover page that's that was it, like literally. <laughs> it was so easy and so fun to do. And on the right hand, sorry, my left and right are so off right now. On the left hand side, I went back to my previous uh, bullet dinner setup, which usually I have the monthly calendar on the right side as the cover page. And on the left side, I usually just um, note down my goals, my main tasks, and the appointments if I have any. <laughs> so yeah, so you can see me uh, going back to my old uh, layouts because I, just, I don't know, it just feels more convenient this way. And the fun part of this style is like, let's say if you really uh, don't like something that you doodle on or you don't like the placement of the paper, you can always just take them off to your book and redo it again. 
it's that easy. It's that fun and that easy, guys. You should definitely try it. Like here, I actually redid it two to three times until I felt like it was really like perfect in my opinion. <laughs> and yeah, it's completely fun, you guys. You definitely need to give this a try. And for the next page, I have the monthly, the huge monthly calendar for my social media content. Last month, I tried out this layout and <laughs> we all know what happened last month. But I still really like the layout, so I'm trying to incorporate the layout again. I'm going to try this again and hopefully it does become useful and it works out. <laughs> Like, uh, for me, this monthly calendar focuses more on the social media, tracking, and posts that I need to do. So for you guys, if there's not much of social media involved, uh, it's, you can basically just use it as your events, your notes, and basically it's just a calendar page. <laughs> so whatever you guys want to put in the calendar page, you can pretty much just put it in. Is it just me or... I think it's probably just me, but I am super loving this color combination. It's so bright, it's so fun. And honestly, this is the most colorful theme that I've ever done. And it's so easy, I didn't have to paint, I didn't have to color in. I literally just ripped off color papers. Like, that's... That's my goal. <laughs> that's my goal of... Uh, <laughs> that's my goal of my future bullet journal setups like fun easy and fast <laughs> so as i mentioned this is my social media tracker so i just have my the little bujo steps um section and then i have my absolute yana section for my personal postings like my blogs and stuff like that and of course i have a youtube <laughs> section as well I will try my best to upload um, as I used to but things are pretty hectic right now but more info on that at the end of this video so do stay tuned to that and the next page we have the habit tracker and also the mind space which is basically is just the brain dump but a more fancier way <laughs> of calling it uh, I also this month removed the mood tracker and the sleeping tracker because the past two months I just wasn't doing any tracking of any sort in that department so I decided to just remove them because I didn't see the function of it if I'm just going to like do it like just for the sake of doing it but not using it like what's the point right like your bullet journal is supposed to be functional and really helps you to improve your lifestyle so I just decided to remove those two spreads and if in the future I decide to add them back in, I will definitely do that. So as usual, my habit trackers, um, <laughs> honestly I really need to buck up on my habit trackers but yeah, so far I'm not doing such a great job at it but I hope that this month things will turn around for the better and I still have my... Uh, trackers for uh, the posting, the daily postings on my Instagram accounts, uh, the Rise and Shine Habit Tracker, the Reading Tracker, and also the Exercise Tracker. I really didn't like how <laughs> the boxes were, so here's me adjusting it to a better version. And honestly, I love black headers, so this was just perfect to my eyes. And then next here, we have the weeklies and the daily setup. You guys, I am so sorry. I did not realize that my phone had stopped recording halfway because 
<laughs> the memory was full and I literally did the whole sprint without noticing it <laughs> so it kind of cuts off halfway but don't worry I extended like slow fight a slow mo fight <laughs> I basically slowed down the uh, flip through so you guys can see how the weekly uh, setup and the dailies look like I'm really sorry guys this September plan with me is almost like all over the place but it's also one of the themes that I really enjoyed making And here is the final flip through of the whole setup for September. I decided not to do the monthly review just yet because I really want to update the spreads uh, by weeks. Like at the end of each week, that's when I'll set up the new week spreads. And I just want to go with the flow this month and see where it takes me, like see where my creativity takes me. Too, so I don't know I'll probably try out new layouts for the weeklies we'll see how if you want to know what happens <laughs> like what is the progress of the whole September bullet dinner setup please do follow me on the little budget steps on my Instagram and lastly if you enjoyed this month's theme please do hit that like button and let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified every single time I post my new video. And keep moving forward, little feetsies. We can totally do this. So if you guys catched up with the previous video, I did um, say that I wanted to try the studio vlog. Unfortunately, it was really tough. Like, I honestly salute all the studio vloggers because they are so awesome. Like right now, it's really impossible for me to do it. I really wanted to try it but it's so hard because my morning routines is so jam-packed with uh, delivering food and sending my, my father to work and stuff like that. Honestly, it's been crazy. This past two weeks has been so crazy but I realized that I'm slowly adjusting to it. But yeah. So with that kind of hectic kind of schedule, it I honestly can't do the studio vlog. At least not yet. I promise you in the future there will be studio vlogs. But at the moment, it's really hard. And I'm really sorry if I disappointed any one of you. I The best that I can do at this point is to actually uh, document each of my projects and then um, release videos regarding each project like individual projects and not like weekly studio vlogs because it's really hard to um, rush them out anyways I really hope that you guys will understand my situation and please 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 um, look forward in the near future for studio vlogs if not near future somewhere in the future for the studio vlogs but I'll definitely share with you all the projects that I'm working on in separate videos. So I do hope you are excited for those videos. I have my new Boho sticker collection that I'll be sharing with you really soon. And yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am really sorry if I've disappointed any one of you. But just know that I'm really trying my best over here to just make up for any lost time, any loss of videos and stuff like that. I'm really trying my best and I'll try to improve as fast as I can as well so that you guys will have the best quality contents. I don't know, I'll just try my best. And just, I just want you guys to know that I really love you all very much. I love the support that you guys shower me with. I am honestly very thankful for you, each and every one of you for sticking it out and yeah I will see you in my next video bye little fitties I love you Mwah.